Alright, so this is going to be a review of the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8. It's a brand new lens that just came out. It's the lowest aperture you can get on this kind of zoom lens. And I just want to say right here I have the Canon EOS 70D, which I'm going to be testing it out on. We're going to do an unboxing of both. So if you want to see the review and unboxing of that, you can click the annotation at the top. But right now we're going to do an unboxing of this, and soon we'll do a review right after, so stay tuned. Alright, so I'm opening it for the first time. And here we have a little casing here. So and you look like a kid on Christmas. Very, very minimalistic. Just the lens and the box in the case. Alright, so as you can see, there's the autofocus. That's a really, really sleek looking autofocus manual switch button. Um, that doesn't look like anything like that on our other Sigma lenses. So this is a new line of signal lenses, I believe, that are for cinema, I think. This is going to be a really great lens to use for video because apparently it has a fast focus compared to other signal lenses. And for an 18 to 35 millimeter lens, 1.8 is ridiculous. You could see in some serious low light conditions, um, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like in the front, that's what it looks like. Some really nice glass there. Since this lens is for APS-C cameras, I'll try it out on the Canon EOS 70D. Not only will it give you an idea of what it looks like on an APS-C sensor, but it also gives you an idea of what it looks like with the dual pixel autofocus that the Canon EOS 70D has. And we'll also do a review of that on the annotations I said before, so let's get right into it. First off, I want to say, as soon as I turned it on, I noticed that the focus ring is really, really smooth. Ridiculously smooth, and so is the zoom. The great thing is, this is a constant aperture of 1.8, so you can use 1.8 aperture all the way from 18 to 35 without the aperture um, increasing at all. So that's nice for great low light situations. You get the full range of zoom, and you get really great low light. So uh, let's test this out. We're gonna have the 5D Mark III, which she's recording so you can see me in the corner of the screen, and we'll cut to the footage that I'm recording here, so let's get right into it. All right, so I got this camera on manual and we're gonna start recording. Right now I'm in an aperture of 5.6 and a shutter speed of 125. Again, the focus is really smooth. Let's uh, go to all the way to 1.8 so you can get an idea of what it looks like in comparison. That's 1.8, 2.0. I'm just gonna slowly go up up to 5.6 and again right now in 1.8 I'm zoomed all the way in I can zoom all the way out which isn't very much of a zoom but it's a pretty good focal range and uh, there we go let's go outside and test some stuff out since we're outside I'm gonna bring the aperture up a little bit so the aperture is at 2.5 right now and we're shooting at 100 ISO on automatic ISO and uh, it's pretty clean Get some close-ups here. It's very sharp. Let's uh, let's do some rack, some rack focusing here. I'll start. Uh, I'm gonna rack from this branch all the way to that. Not really a branch. Well, like a what do you call that? I can't think of the word. Stump? Bark? Now I'll zoom all the way out. I really like how it looks zoomed out. It's not too distorted. Let's get some creative shots to some music.
Alright, that was some footage of me just rack focusing and doing some manual focus with the, the lens. If you want to see the lens on this camera with the dual pixel autofocus, go to the other review of the camera itself and I'm going to do some dual pixel focusing. That's it. All I got to say is the 70D is a fantastic combination with this new Sigma lens and I highly, highly recommend it and I've only used this for like five minutes so far. <laughs> If you want any other specific type of review or comparison concerning the 70D or the Sigma lens, tell me in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, until next time, I love you guys and uh, click the annotation and subscribe for more videos like this and vlogs actually. This is our vlogging channel.